Terrence Bud Crawford defeats Errol Spence Jr. with a 10-8 round. And check this out, a 10-7 round. I was wrong, and I'm going to be the first person to say that. I'm going to come here and tell you that I was wrong. Um, but that being said, I always gave Terrence Crawford his credit of being a phenomenal fighter. And I said that this isn't a safe all around. Oh my God, I'm a fanboy. It was just like wrapped up in this. Um, not surprising that he would win. Not surprising, dude. Not at all. Uh, the, the way that he did it was what was surprising. The way that he did it was, was incredible. Um, and you know what? He's mainly actually an orthodox fighter who fought in Southpaw where he's hurt a lot of people and just fought the fight that way in Southpaw. One thing that I did notice right off the bat watching this fight was that uh, <clears throat> Terrence Buck Crawford, by the way, said this himself. The first knockdown, he's off balance. And he was. And, and he's like, God damn it, all right. But he did get hurt after that. He got hurt after that. Uh, he got hurt with many shots that actually didn't drop him. Those are the ones that hurt Errol Spence Jr. the most. And some of the ones that did. You know what I mean? Especially twice in a round for a 10-7 round. Which is just... I mean, that's up. that alone is up there in history. But... It's the manner that he did it in. That is very surprising. Shocking. As a matter of fact. And a lot of people out there say, oh, I wasn't shocked. But the truth about this is, is that, uh, what, which I tried to express, you, there was nothing, there was nothing, there was nothing in, in, in film stuff, stuff. You could say that, that Terrence Crawford would win, which I just said is not surprising. But there was nothing to indicate a beating like this. Um, and I hope people recognize that. It was a drubbing. It was crazy. And I want to point something else out real quick. I've noticed that, you know, we have the Tank Ryan fight. Listen, both of these back-to-back -back we picked right. And the in-a-way fight that I'm going to mention, I picked right. But either way, uh, we had the, uh, you know, the Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis fight. And it actually wasn't, it wasn't like, oh my goodness, this is so entertaining. If you look at it, 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 it was a beating and it didn't take many punches to do it. The Nioa Inouye versus Stephen Fulton Jr., while Nioa Inouye is moving up in weight class, uh, that looked to be like, I, I mean, I best, I like, again, I picked Nioa Inouye to win it, but uh, maybe like a 60 40 fight. That was, that on paper, that was crazy. That was crazy. He just was dominant. He didn't, he didn't lose rounds in there and stuff, and, and he just put him away um, in cold fashion. And Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. The only thing that I can say is that, I mean, for one, if you're a Spence fan, you know, keep being a Spence fan. He's going to come back and he's going to do better things for sure. Uh, just like old Spence that he already has. I mean, he's a, he's a, he, he can have a Hall of Fame resume kind of, you can argue a Hall of Fame resume in a welterweight division already with the names that he has under him. But this was, uh, this was really just showcasing and that's it that's what that's what's nuts that's what's nuts um the manner that he did it in getting a 10-7 round against a guy who's never so much as touched the floor before so and a 10-8 round and another round you know i mean just like and two 10-8 rounds whatever if that would have went all the way now it's a referee stoppage credit to errol spence for really being about what he says he uh he had the chin of steel on him and that kept he kept getting dropped and just fucked up he kept getting countered is what happened and this fight was won because he couldn't take the uh he or, or because crawford could take the jab away from errol spence which was only there in the first round and by the second round he was taking the jab away this is part of what led to the knockdown that was off balance but it's a legit knockdown but not hurting him and then he hurt him from then on out there there's really not much to say besides that uh the guy is absolutely phenomenal he is your pound for pound number one boxer of any weight class for sure and uh yeah there's just uh it was the manner that he did it in, which is really surprising. 
really surprising. Um, and yeah, it was just, uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a good fight, great atmosphere, great atmosphere. You know, the fight had uh, everything that you wanted from it, from watching a fight with some good friends, and that, that was good. But, uh, but yeah, it was an absolute drubbing. What was supposed to be a 50-50, 60-40 fight, yet again for the third time in a row this year, was just an absolute drop. Um, and just uh, a beating from pillar to post, really. You know, um, <clears throat> one that, you know, in hindsight could have been, at this point, obvious, which is just shocking. That's what's shocking. It's not the, the winning method. And listen, my bets that I put in, I told you, you know, I, I put a little bet in on Errol Spence for fun. I thought this fight for sure would go the distance no matter who won and if there was drops. And Errol Spence proved that he's got the chin on him for that. This was an on-the-feet referee. or he, he got dropped, but getting back up, right? I mean, and, and the ref stopped it. Um, but it was a good stoppage. It was a good stoppage. So that's another thing that I do want to clarify about this fight. Um, and, you know, I just don't, like, there's not a lot of times where people are so impressive. I mean, what Bud Crawford did right there, um, as somebody who's not really a Bud Crawford fan, uh, I, 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 just, I do respect that, obviously, he's got so much talent. And I haven't been a big Bud Crawford fan, just as a fan. He doesn't, there's things there. Anyways, uh, he, it, this beating was, was incredible. It was incredible. It was eye opening and he just doesn't, uh, he just doesn't stop. You know, Errol Spence Jr. did do Errol Spence Jr. things in there. He forced a jab in the first round, but it got taken away from him. He said, that's taken away. I'm going to absorb punches, which I can do as well. And I'm going to go to the body. And he touched uh, Terrence Bud Crawford to the body a lot. Sure, some of those were blocked with the lower guard. He had a kind of a shell out so he can guard there and guard the stuff just around the face a bit uh, with his elbows down by his side. But uh, it was taken away. The jab was taken away. And, and even though Errol Spence did land on his body a lot, uh, it didn't deter Bud Crawford. And there was a couple uh, little overhands that Spence hit in between, which you probably maybe even missed because of the absolute beating of that fight. Maybe you didn't see it, so, but I saw it. And and the thing that that told me is that you, you, he's still, I mean, he took away the job so fast. He's hitting you to the body still all throughout the fight. You made him pay for it worse than what he was given. And the shots didn't deter your cardio, didn't deter the combinations that only increased throughout the fight. Uh, this is a special talent. This is a really special guy. It doesn't matter really so much if we're doing, you know, we're doing real talk here. If you're a fan of his or not, uh, you got it. The guy's a pound for pound number, uh, number one. And Iowa in a way is great. If you have him up there still, that's okay. But what Terrence Crawford did was prove that there's just nothing left. There's nothing. Left. He's the first male to be a two weight class world champion. Uh, and he's going to probably move up in weight and still contend more, which would only become more impressive and more impressive and more impressive until the guy is, uh, you know, I mean, already he's remembered, but until the guy is just like literally one of the greats and you put him up there. This was, this was crazy. There's nobody else. Listen, Errol Spence has beaten everybody everybody in that welterweight division uh the sean porter the kel brook errol spence beat them first beat them bad they said this was damaged goods this proved everything though this proved everything we have to be real here this proved everything terrence mug crawford uh the this dismantling i've listen i am in talks with other youtube shows you know of boxing and whatever uh this uh, people that pay, a lot of people picked uh, Bud Crawford to win this fight, and nobody said that it would be like this. There isn't a soul that said it would be like this, uh, except for a actual actual fanboy people. It's like Terrence just knocks him out in round one, which didn't happen, but because only really of the chin of Errol Spence that he that he uh, you know he, okay he was off balance in round two. I mean. This was bad beatings. Then we got a 10-8 round, uh, that round two. Then we got a 10-7 round with two knockdowns in one round. 
against Cyril Spence Jr. who has never hit the canvas before. So this was eye-opening and I just want to be real about it. Um, I want to be real about it and tell you what I saw in this reaction here um, in the moment, instant reaction. Uh, and Errol Spence just dipping his head to the to, to the left all the time, all the time. So he so in this fight, this is a little boxing tip for you guys if you actually are fans of boxing. In this fight, Errol Spence did not one fucking time show, send me a video, send me a vid, send in the comments what 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 minute of the fight is it. He never dipped his head to the right. The head dipping to get off the line of the jab was always to the left, and then it was caught with the with the hard southpaw jab you know or the straight you know it this was always dipping your head to the left to the point where somebody's throwing the the jab and then the the the, the other one is is not coming down the center line it's going off to the you know from crawford because he realizes that spence dips his head to the left all the time so that was eye-opening as well it was uh you know not necessarily living up to what I thought that the fight could be no matter who won because this was just so damn one-sided but uh I've seldomly been impressed more so I'll say that